All right, so we're going to move on to talk about how we're forming this primitive gut or gut tube. All right, so we already know and we already established that it's lined with endoderm. And we've already established that the endoderm is going to form the epithelium of the GI tract. Mm -hmm. Epithelium was what? Where, where was this stratified squamous? Um, distal, anus, and esophagus. That's right. And then where was it? Um, simple columnar. In between those two places. That's right. So, um, so there's going to be something hanging off of the body wall. Or rather, okay, so the gut tube is going to be hanging off the body wall. It's going to be suspended off the body wall by the dorsal mesentery. Now, quick question: Where was the what was where was the vent? What forms the ventral mesentery? Septum transversum. What was the other name for septum transversum? A cervical epithelium. Cervical mesoderm. Dang. That's fine. A cervical mesoderm. Now, what were the two things that that septum transversum is forming? Helping us to form the diaphragm and ventral mesoderm. Okay. Mesentery. Mesentery. That's right. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. So now, different from the ventral mesentery, which is associated with the foregut, which we established, we have the dorsal mesentery. Now, the dorsal mesentery is just going to be it's going to be suspending that gut tube, that endodermal tube, is going to be suspending it from the from the abdominal wall, all right, from the from the posterior abdominal wall. I see there's an image of this. If I have an image on this of this here, okay. Here goes an example here. Okay, here goes this. This might help a little bit. Okay, so if you look at this, so essentially, okay, you want to visualize this as the gut tube, all right? And you want to visualize this as the posterior abdominal wall, mm -hmm. all right? So this here is your dorsal mesentery. Okay. All right, and this depending on where it's at, could have been, well, it could be your ventral mesentery. Yeah, you can see it as your ventral mesentery. Um, but, and again, just to make this a little bit, maybe. What is that thing this um, Well, not here, not this, though. I'm talking about this. You understand? This is, it. this is actually, this is a remnant of the dorsal, me and I, this was on um, Kurtaski's lecture. Okay, so let's move on from here. So we got that, right? Gut tube lined with endoderm becomes the epithelium. Um, we have the gut tube hanging off the posterior abdominal wall via the what? Dorsal mesentery. That's right, dorsal mesentery. Um, so the dorsal mesentery is going to be associated with the entire gut. All right. And it's going to give rise to a lot of different structures. So, um, so it's going to give rise to your um, greater momentum. Give rise to greater momentum. It's going to give rise to your um, sigmoid mesocolon, splenorenal ligament, a bunch of other things that Dr. Baker mentioned. All right. So basically, this primitive gut tube is going to start to develop, right? As it's de starting to develop, it's going to start to twist and turn. Well, Those wait, hold on. That sounds
Okay. All right. So, um, okay, so, um, all right, so moving on from here. So, okay, so let's see. So, as the primitive gut tube is going to like be growing and developing, it's going to start to twist and turn. All right, it's going to start to grow and then twist and turn. So, you can kind of like see it here. You see, like, see how it's not like straight? Mm -hmm. See how it's twisting, moving like, moving all over the place? Yep. Okay, so now we get into how well, are we forming these organs? How are we going to form the liver, the gallbladder? How are we forming the liver? How are we forming the gallbladder? How are we forming the pancreas? And um, let's see here. Is there anything else? Okay, yeah, for these guys. I guess we can just consider these guys. Um. And also the stomach. So, and the spleen. Yeah, did you, did you have something? Yes. Yeah. So for, you know how, um, like, the designations for, like, what is part of the foregut and the midgut? Yeah. Is that in here? Um, yeah, not really. You not really. It? Okay, I guess we can, we can continue from here. Good? Are we good? Uh, so we're looking at the organs. All right, so Wait, let's... so the fact that yeah. it twists and turns, that's just it? it just, just know that that's the thing? Just have an idea that that's what's starting to happen. Okay. Uh, so far, because we're trying to, you know, do it sequentially. Right? So the liver, um, it turns out that the liver is going to be derived from two sources, right? So um, while the first source is going to be endoderm, actually just to give you a broad idea of these things, so just look at this embryo right here, mm -hmm. all right? So this is our, the, the tube right here, the um, gut tube. Now notice that Notice that there's a lung bud here. Mm -hmm. Well, the lungs is going to come off of there. Dorsal pancreatic bud, ventral pancreatic bud. The ventral pancreatic bud is actually going to turn around to meet the dorsal. Sorry? Yeah. So the ventral pancreatic bud is actually going to migrate and meet the dorsal pancreatic bud. We'll see that later on. Mm -hmm. All right. We have the gallbladder coming off of here. We have the liver coming off of here. Can you see this? See how most of these organs, they're just literally coming. The only thing that's not coming off of that gut tube is um, your spleen. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's not coming off that gut tube is your spleen. Cool? Kay. But I'm just, okay, so the liver is going to be derived from two sources. It's going to be derived from endoderm, which is just a gut tube, right? So what's going to happen is that, remember that ventral mesentery? Mm -hmm. So where was that ventral mesentery? What, what, um, what was it? What was it derived from? Septum transversum. Okay, terrific. So what's going to happen is that these endodermal cells are going to migrate, all right, and they're going to, they're going to migrate into that ventral mesentery and they're going to start to proliferate. The endodermal cells from that gut tube, they're going to migrate into that ventral mesentery and they are going to start to proliferate. All right. And these endodermal cells are they're they're what's they're gonna form the hepatocytes in the liver. Right? So the hepatocyte is well majority of the cells in the liver, but there's other cells in the liver. Now so the liver is being derived from two sources. The first source is the endoderm, which is a gut tube. Endoderm grows endodermal cells grows into the ventral mesentery. So you're going to have, um, as well, you're going to have um, the mesoderm of the septum transversum. That makes sense, right? Because the ventral mesentery, right, was part of the septum transversum, but as well, you're going to have mesoderm from the septum transversum, right, helping to form the liver. Cool? 
All right. So the mesoderm of the septum transversum is going to be forming everything else. It's going to be forming the vessels, the phagocytic cells. I believe it was the kupfer cells or whatever, the hematopoietic cells, and uh, because remember the liver has the sinusoid stuff like that. Uh, then um, uh, and the connective tissue cells of the, your liver. This is how your liver is forming. All right, so this is how we're forming the liver. Um, let's see if there's anything here that's relevant to what we're talking about. Okay, here, this is relevant. Okay, so we're talking about how we're forming the liver. So here is our septum transversum. Mm -hmm. Here is, right here is our what? Ventral mesentery. All right. Now, um, the ventral mesentery is also going to become a falciform ligament later on. But here we're going to see, we're seeing from this gut tube, notice that the stomach is also forming from the gut tube, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's pretty obvious. But um, so here we're having these cells, they're migrating into what? The ventral mesentery. And then we're going to have some of the mesoderm of the septum transversum coming in. And that's how we're going to be forming this, our... Um, our liver. Got it. Okay, cool. So now, what about the gallbladder? So again, remember the gallbladder is just endoderm. Endoderm is creating the epithelium. Connective tissue is coming from septum transversum mesoderm. All right, and that makes sense, right? Because most of them are pinching off of the endoderm. Right? That should just be pretty straightforward for the gallbladder. So what is the function of the gallbladder? The gallbladder stores and concentrates bile. 